managerial accounting cost behavior. Now, one thing that a manager needs to know in order to predict what cost will be in the future is how those costs will behave in relation to changes in activity measures. Now, activity may be measured as number of units produced, as machine hours, or we may want to measure it in other terms such as how many phone calls the customer service department handles, or how many purchase orders the purchasing department processes. But whatever the activity measure is that we choose, we need to understand how cost will change as that activity measure changes. Now, one type of activity, uh, or rather cost behavior, is that a cost may be a variable cost. Now, variable costs are defined as a cost whose total changes directly and in proportion to changes in the activity the total changes directly and in proportion to the changes in activity. For example, direct materials. The more units we produce, the more the total cost of direct materials will be. Now, in order to be able to predict, we also need to make some assumptions about how that cost behaves. For example, we assume that within a certain period of time or over a certain level of production that the cost will behave in a linear manner. And another assumption that we have to make, or a, another thing that needs to be true in order for us to predict the cost a total cost of a variable cost is that the per unit cost of a variable cost such as direct material will stay the same within what we call the relevant range of activity. Now that relevant range may be say from zero to a hundred thousand units. Uh, we are under contract for our direct materials to cost a dollar per unit or it may be a time period. For example, a copier lease. We may have a lease on a copier for a year. And within that year, every copy that we make will cost us five cents a copy. So after that year is up, then the variable cost per unit will change. So we need to know what is the per unit cost in order for us to predict what the total cost will be as the activity measure changes. Now that's a variable cost. Now let's take a look at some numbers as examples of variable cost. Now here's a set of information and you see I've got here different levels of activity, three different levels of activity and I also am given that the per unit cost is five dollars per unit. Now with that information I can predict what the cost will be in total at each of these three levels of activity. So at 100 units if the per unit cost is five dollars then naturally my total cost is going to be five hundred dollars. Now as long as we're in the relevant range I can use that same five dollars per unit to predict what the total cost will be at 200 units of activity. So 200 times 5, in that case my total cost will be $1,000. Now notice what happened here. Production increased from 100 to 200, so our total cost increased from 500 to 1,000. Another thing to notice is that my activity measure, units produced, doubled. It went from 100 to 200. So did my total cost. Go from 500 to 1,000, which is twice the uh, $500 level of, of cost. So remember we said that variable cost, the total changes directly. Activity went from 100 to 200. That went up. And so did the cost, and in proportion, the activity doubled, so did the cost double. And by that same token, we can estimate what the total cost will be at 300 units. As long as we're still in the relevant range, we can take that $5 per unit and multiply it times the 300 units, and our estimated total variable cost whether this be materials or whatever that variable cost may be, 
is going to be $1,500. Now, whenever we're dealing with cost, it's really a good idea to graph them to get a visual, a picture of how that cost is behaving. And in the case of variable cost, what we're going to see as we graph this is that at zero units, well, no units, no cost per unit, so total cost will be zero dollars. And at 100 units, our total cost was 500. So I'll put that right there at that intersection. At 200, our cost was 1,000. So we'll put our data point there. And at 300, our cost was 1,500. So we'll put that data point there. And our total cost line, if we connect the dots, our graph of total cost is going to be a straight line that, if I drew properly, would intersect at zero dollars. So this is graphically what a truly variable cost looks like.